He told me to manage the candles like eggs while I was dusting them off. On every fourth day of July, a caravan of minstrels, firefighters, and baton twirlers passed by my grandmother's house. Back in those days, there wasn't a parking space to be found when my father would take my mother, brother, and I downtown. He would drop my mother off in front of the variety store and drive around and around the block until she was finished shopping. Then he would pick her up and we'd all go to Carol's. Do you remember Carol's restaurant? The sauce they put on their hamburgers tasted like French salad dressing. One after the other, the giants came and slaughtered mom and pop. First there was the shopping center and then came the mall. The shopping center snuffed out mom and pop and the mall crushed the shopping center. Then the malls just kept getting larger and larger until it became a game of the survival of the biggest. I don't like shopping in malls because the painted little girls and cookie cutter little boys wildly typing messages bloated with acronyms make me want to cry. I don't react this way because I think little girls and boys shouldn't follow trends or use cell phones. I understand their motivation and wholeheartedly admit that I wore little Abner boots and carried a Sony Walkman. I react this way because the friends they are messaging are standing alongside them.